prayers answered immediately. Now we're on the second half of the breastplate of righteousness. Now, in your prayer time, this is pretty seamless because when your cup is filled, when you're overflowing, when you feel this fountain flowing up in you, the horizontal aspect of this determines how much the vertical aspect stays. Meaning, if you give everything you've got to taking this proslambano and spreading it, then God keeps pouring, give and it shall be given unto you. So at this point, we're moving on to, um, and, and I want to I get a little uh, down and dirty here and hit some sensitive things, because I love inner healing. We have massive amounts of inner healing in our church, but there is a place where Christian inner healing goes so off course that it's not even Christian anymore. And I want to walk you through that. So you come in here, but first I want to cover this first. When I am filled and I, drenched in his pleasure, acceptance, approval, and delight, I'm now going to um, ask that his nature flow through me and to other people. And in that, the last third of Romans, the last five chapters, which is the book on righteousness, is all about let this flow through you to other people. So what I say, the phrases I use straight from the book of Romans is open my eyes to see life and death and give me your nature, your strength, your power, your want to, to choose life. And the reason that these videos are so important is because someone said to me earlier, they said, reading the book is almost like reading a blueprint but these videos is like walking through the house. You get to see and you get to visually experience. And so in this, um, when people read the book, sometimes they sp focus on, I see life and death and I need to do right. I need to do better. I need to do better. And, and, and it's not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. So what you're releasing is, you're going to so change me on the inside that I won't even want to do the death thing. That it'll be, I, won't, I won't even be a battle. It wasn't like I chose to be sweet. It was the first reaction of my heart. So it's eyes to see life and death and the nature of God to choose life. Now, what I do is a physical symbol that's extremely important to me. I've done it almost every day for 25 years. Is in the area of emotions and soul health related to people. What I, I, I make three walls. I take my left arm and I stick it right there. And when we pray, you're going to do that. My right arm, and I stick it right there. And my back is the third wall. And what I say is these are the boundaries in my soul. So the first thing I do is I, I say your nature, your heart to flow through me, your power. I have to see life and death. And then I say I claim today freedom. This is my boundary from trying to please or impress any person or earn their approval. I'm not out there. Did you notice me? Do you like me? Do you think I'm good? Do you think I'm wonderful? <laughs> Excuse me. That's such death and emptiness that drawing attention to me or winning your approval is nothing. That's not even in my heart. And then on this arm is I will not criticize any person. And Romans hits this hard. Romans 14, 4. Who are you to judge another man's servant? To his own master he will stand or fall. And he will stand because the Lord is able to make him stand. Right. So you're a ser servant. He's a servant. And you're judging him. Let the master take care of this. But what I've discovered in my soul is it was a boomerang effect. Whenever I went over and tried to please people, I would get mad that they wouldn't reciprocate, and I'd come over and <laughs> rip their eyes out. So these are, these are opposite boundaries. I will not try to please. I will not criticize. And my back is I won't get stabbed in the back. I won't let pe critical people near me. Now, I'll seek out counsel. I'll, I'll seek the Lord's voice when people have input for me. But I seek so much counsel. Rarely does someone have to confront me. But... I'm going to walk away from people who love to criticize. They're just, they're just dangerous. But this, these three walls, is the 5%. And the 95% is then when I pray. So I build my walls. Wall, no trying to please, no criticizing. I won't let critical people near me. And then I call forth this fountain, and I turn it into Niagara Falls flowing through me. And when I say your heart to bless, what I'm really playing, and I pray these words, your love to flow through me. And this is where you never look back. I, I say these words. I say your encouragement through me, your affirmation through me. I want to look at each person like I just met the neatest person on the earth. Your smiles, your joy, your love to flow through me. And a lot of people ask, um, do you have to re-put the breastplate on and, and do re-put the armor of God? And sometimes I'll put the whole armor of God on a second time. But I often will 
readjust my belt and readjust my breastplate. When I come up here to my office, my staff are the most gorgeous, amazing people. And, I, and almost every time I'll, I'll sit in the car and I'll say, okay, go in there, John. Are you gonna, how many times are you going to say in there if I hear your heart? And then I call forth and I say, I, Jesus, I want your love to explode. Amen. Now, my staff knows this because I usually walk in singing at the top of my lungs off key. <laughs> it's kind of a tradition. PJ's here, but it's also nice. I, I've, I've been in situations where the boss surprises you. You don't want the boss. That's not kind. So I'm actually being kind in my off-key, lousy singing. <laughs> Just so we're clear. See how I work that around? Did you catch that? See what a nice guy I am that I'm hurting your ears. <laughs> but so when I call this forth and I see people who don't smile, don't affirm, and it's just raw selfishness. And, but it's really deeper than selfish. It's deception. Because I've had so many people ask, how do you keep the pleasure of God flowing? It's so simple. And, and, and I've had many, many times, more than I could count, people say to me, John, you are the most affirming, encouraging person I have ever met. And, and I, 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 without explaining all this, I just want to say, all I am is the bucket carrier. See, I come over to the fountain of all God's pleasure. I don't even have to dip it. I just hold it there, and this fountain is just splashing. And I take that overflow, and I pour it on you. But every time I pour it on you, more flows up inside me. Now, one more specific thing. I pour it on everybody, but I'm not looking to pour it on everybody. I'm looking for hungry people, people who want to change. So when the farmer sowed the seed, Matthew 13, Jesus gave the four, four soils. If you, don't, if you weren't paying attention, you missed a big point. The farmer did not sow 25% of his seed on hard ground and 25% of his seed on thorny ground and 25% of his seed on shallow ground and 25% on good soil. Huh, 95% went on the good soil. Anything else happened by overflow and accident. So you put your best seed and soil and those who want to change the most. So you, you're pouring it out. So this, this is the second piece. It's, it's so rich to me. It's so... Um, it's so powerful. And I am drunk on how much God pours his love on me when I pour it out on others. So we're going to pray. And I'm going to ask you to remember 2 Peter 1, 4, that his very nature flows through you. Remember the book of Romans, his righteousness. And some people ask, well, do you think of specific people here? Because in my belt of truth, I kind of went through individual people. I don't. You do whatever. You might want to go back to that same list. I just freelance. I just kind of look at people on my heart, but I, and I just see people. But maybe that's why I put it on multiple times a day. Okay, close your eyes, please, and put your pens and papers down. You're going to love this one. And here's the best part. In your prayer time, you just finished the first half. So you're overflowing now with your daddy's acceptance, approval, delight, and pleasure. His quiet, peaceful confidence is rivers through you. So close your eyes and say these words. To say, now Holy Spirit, now Holy Spirit. Spirit of sonship, Spirit of pour, the very nature of Jesus through me. pour the very nature of Jesus through me. Open my eyes today, Open my eyes today. That, I may see life and death that I may see life and death and your nature. Your strength, your, strength, your, desire, your desire, your joy, your, joy, your, want, to, your want to will all be for life. life. It, won't it won't even occur to me to walk in the direction of death. Direction of death. Fill, me, Fill me, Holy Spirit. Your love, your, love, your, acceptance, your acceptance, your approval your flowing, flowing through me. Now take your left arm and lock it into your side and say, and in the name of Jesus Christ, I claim freedom today from trying to please any person, impress them, or earn their approval. Now take your right arm and stick it locked in and say, and by the authority of Jesus Christ, I will not criticize or judge this day. Now get your back real straight and say, and I will not let critical people near me. Now that's the 5%. Now we're going for the 95%. Say, now, now Holy Spirit, now, Holy Spirit. I, call I call forth rivers. I call forth Niagara Falls, call forth Niagara Falls. Of, your joy, of your joy, your pleasure, your, pleasure. your, love, your love for every person I see this day. 
rivers of encouragement, rivers of kindness, rivers of encouragement. More, Lord. Flood me, Lord. Flood everyone around me. And I will give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm, mm.